What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. The previews are back. It was a little bit lighter this week. Uh, next week, we're going to get really crazy with Thanksgiving weekend. But this week, it was a little bit lighter. But we still have a few for you. And we'll start off at Del Mar on Saturday, November 19th. It's going to be race six on the card. The Desi Armaz Stakes going seven furlongs, $100,000 purse for the Phillies, two-year-olds. So pretty interesting race here. Uh, even though it's only $100,000, it's ungraded. Still an interesting race, still a race that could project uh, horses to the future and onto that Kentucky Oaks Trail. At least that's what the connections probably hope. Now, let's get to talking about a few of these in here. And uh, boy, I tell you what, I could not get away from the number six blessed touch in this race. Not a very good debut effort over this track. So that is a negative, no doubt about it. Just didn't run very well. But second time out at Santa Anita in a maiden special weight going six furlongs. This horse absolutely aired one by eight and three quarter links, earned a 114 time form speed figure for that race. That, that is so much better than anybody else in this field. It's just really hard for me to go against. I say it all the time if you watch our shows, whether it be the, the recordings or the live shows that we do, the podcast, things like that. I always say, look, at speed, speed figures, it's one thing. It's one, you know, one data point. But when you see a speed figure that is so far removed from everybody else in the field, it is hard to go against that horse. And so that's why I really like number six, blessed touch in this race. Other reason, and, and it's a big one in my opinion as well, looks to be the lone speed in this race. If you look at that debut effort at Del Mar, just didn't get out of the gate, never ran, was way behind. And then you look at the Santa Anita effort, out of the gate quickly, to the front, gate to wire, no problem. I think if she gets that kind of trip again today, I think she's going to be very, very tough to beat. All right, two Baffert runners is who I'll kind of turn to next. Uh, for my next two picks, the number four, Hunting Coco. Uh, this horse cuts back in distance today. Tried to stretch out last time out in the chandelier. It didn't go well at all. Quit, basically. Got beat almost 40 links. But the debut race right here at Del Mar over this track, going five and a half furlongs, it was an easy six and three-quarter length victory. I think the horse will uh, you know, come right back here. Now cutting back to that seven furlong distance, back to the one-turn races, I think she'll run a very much improved race. So I do like number four, Hunting Coco. Flavian Pratt gets aboard for Bob Baffert. That's always a good sign as well. I'm interested in the number two parody as well, who will be running for Bob Baffert for the first time uh, in the spot. Now, last time out at Churchill Downs, this horse debuted going five furlongs in the slop and was able to get the job done. Tra uh, was trained by Rudolph Brissett in that race. Now moves to Baffert. So really, uh, if, you, if, you don't, if you're unfamiliar with that situation, Windstar Farm will use Rudolph Brissett as kind of the B trainer, so to speak. The, the, he's the guy that, uh, you know, not to say all the horses that he gets are bad. They certainly are not. But he kind of gets that, that second flight of horses where the Bafferts and the Pletchers of the world will get the first flight of horses. Well, the horse debuts, like I said, for Brissett. And now we're moving to Baffert. And to me, that's a pretty good sign. To me, they saw a little bit in this horse. They thought the horse, you know, might be a little bit better than maybe what they thought at the farm before they ship this horse out. So now we go to Baffert. Now we've got a horse here that is one for one. And, you know, like I said, Baffert gets uh, his hands on her today. And I, I'm expecting the horse to run pretty well. Uh, one horse I will not be using is the number one, Justique. Uh, I think a lot of people will use the horse. I will not. Uh, did win on debut and looked very good uh, here at this track. Got a lot of people excited. Speed figures didn't come back very high. Next time out, ran in the chandelier, was bet down to the six to five favorite. I did not use Justique that day either. I thought this horse was very overrated. Uh, she ran okay in that race. She was third, but beaten five and a half. The horses that beat her, I don't think they're that good. So I'm going to go against her again here, thinking she might be a shorter price than what she should be. Um, so I will go against her once again in this spot. And, and I'll just let her beat me. And if she does, she does. I am not going to worry about it because... I got three horses I like better, and I just mentioned them, the six, the four, and the two in that order. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if Blessed Touch can build on that uh, off that race last time out at San Diego that was all-turn impressive. And if she can, I think it's going to be lights out for the rest of this field. So, all right, that's the preview for this one. Del Mar's got a really good weekend of racing. Once again, they they're, they've had some very good cards uh, for this fall meet, and it will continue on Saturday. So – Good luck if you're playing Del Mar this weekend. Make sure to hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. And we'll see you guys at the track. 
Hey, Magic here. Thanks for watching. Remember, RacingDudes.com is your home for the best horse racing tips and picks. We're already ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, so make sure you subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss any of our Derby Trail coverage. Visit RacingDudes.com for free picks for every race, every track across the country. Now let's go make some money.